everyone, Wannabut here, and welcome to Risk of Rain 2. If you can't tell by the menu, I'm going to be playing this with Retromation. I, after having a lot of fun with Synthetic, we saw that this game was coming out 1.0, and it was kind of a no-brainer that we'd pick it up together. So we're going to do a couple runs together, and then I might switch to solo and kind of alternate. Really depends on how scheduling goes. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so we're on Rainstorm difficulty. I mean, is that okay? Or should we go to yeah, Drizzle? Yeah, I don't fine. know. Uh... It really, it's up to you. Rainstorm is probably fine. Uh, okay, we'll see. This game's hard. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We can we can bump it down. We can always bump it down. I need to take a minute to even remember how to play. <laughs> I lo oh, okay. I'm into it already. Yep. Seems oh, boy. Better-ish. Better-ish? Yeah, I, I, I don't know. You. I... I had played a whole lot of this back before they uh, before they updated how regen works. Originally, when this game launched, it actually had really bugged regen, uh, and it actually made everything a lot harder uh, with like an update. Because originally everybody had crazy high regen, and then they're like, "Oh yeah, we should turn that down." And like every character, it, or every enemy, uh, every character on every difficulty. So okay. like even on the harder difficulties, you got your HP back pretty quick. And they changed that, and all of a sudden I was, like, just dying constantly left and right, and it's like, oh, I'm not really enjoying this anymore. So I'm curious how, how they've changed it. Well, clearly we're the best at the game. I mean, like, look at all these guys we're killing. What is the name of your weird half-plant, half-robot uh, character here? You know, I totally forget. Dave. Dave. Uh... I was looking up its, uh, pro not programmer art name, but effectively, uh, the name in the files is completely different from the actual name in the game, and so all I can remember was, like, nope, I can't remember it at all. I... Yeah. I forget. Rex, there we go. Rex! Which, I'm not no, sure no. where Rex comes from. This is... I would not name this robot Rex. I'd name it Petunia. Petunia? That's a good... Oh my yeah. god, I don't know what any of these do. Wonder which of these items is good. Gas okay. can, horse okay, hoof, the gas, or key. <laughs> uh, the horse hoof makes you run faster. I'd recommend that one, probably. Yeah, the I was kind of figuring that one. The key makes it so you can open up these boxes that show up on the uh, on the map. Oh, okay. So uh, it's literally they're like free treasure chests, but only one shows up per... Uh, whoops. Ow. Uh, only one oh. shows up per, uh, per map. So it's useful, but you have to kind of go hunting for it. And I'm always super shit at finding it, so I never bother. Uh, okay, okay. And the gas can makes things set on fire in a vicinity uh, okay. when you kill, like, a creature. Which is I actually guess, really I useful. Probably pe I could have actually pieced those together. I'm just so used to... I've been playing Neon Abyss, and they seriously just throw a dart at a board <laughs> for what, yep. I, what the item looks like and what it actually does. Those all... That's all pretty, pretty logical. Yep. Could have figured. So... I remember there's like a there's a gate. Do we need to go and find the yes. gate? Yes. So easier to find it now if you look for red sparkles kind of floating around. Uh, there will be a a teleporter that we can activate there that summons the boss wave. Uh, okay. Which we should oh, probably that's go right. That's right. move towards if we can yeah, find yeah, it. Yeah, I was this gonna say because doesn't it, it? It slowly gets harder over time the longer we stay yes. somewhere, right? So the goal is to uh, kind of like run around and collect stuff before you move on. Correct. So if you look and at the top okay. right, we've got a timer and a difficulty yeah. meter. I can't jump this. Uh, timer and a you difficulty meter. And <laughs> uh, and so the longer the run takes, the higher that difficulty meter gets. And it keeps scaling. Like, even, it'll eventually get up to ha 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 ha. But that that's just <laughs> because they didn't want to come up with more names. It still gets harder. It's not like you hit some weird cap. Ooh, flat okay. damage reduction from all attacks. That's a new one. I like that. Yeah, sounds it sounds it sounds like a good. Oh my god. So yeah, I, I feel like I my character is super basic. I'm seeing you exploding into plants and stunning guys and poisoning or something. Uh, it's, yeah. And I am man who shoot good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. But okay. that that doesn't mean you're bad. That just no, means no, all no. the other guys are weird. I, I picked man who shoot good because I feel like when you don't know what you're doing, just playing something that doesn't have complicated mechanics baked into it 
so you can learn the complicated mechanics of the core game is generally the way to go. Yeah. Man Who Shoot Good and Huntress <laughs> are probably the best two. Huntress is a little squishy, but can shoot while running. Ooh. I think that's what it was. I think I, that, sound, that sounds right. I, like, the hunt, Huntress I'm, is more mobile at the very least. I know that's I'm talking like I played none of this, but I did play probably like six hours and I just forgot everything. So I think I did. I think I remember her. So is there a reason to not just open up these chests? Uh, like, lack of money, just open, open everything. Like, yeah, if you got the it. money, okay. uh, if you got the if money, got the money it. pop it open. Right. Uh, let's see. Okay. And the, like the the thing I've always thought about being very risk of rain is don't the the passive stack on each other, right? Yes. So like you you're going to get a lot of the same item and they just slowly kind of like level up as you get more. Yeah, I think for the white items there's no cap. It's just kind of a flat scale. Same thing with the green items. Uh, it's really the the red items that don't scale that well. You're really supposed to just get one of them. They're like legendaries. Uh, yeah, it's they used fun. to. It it's different because uh, I know in Risk of Rain one there were a lot of hard caps for certain items and not others. So like, one of the strongest items in the game was a. Uh, one of the strongest items in Risk of Rain one was barbed wire of all things. Which would make it uh, so, like, eventually you just have a damage aura that hits the entire screen. And Ooh. that got really silly. There, there's, like, a lot of ways to get, like, game breaky feeling builds in the original yeah. screen, right? It's a little RNG dependent, and because you're just kind of getting a giant smattering of items, it's hard to have a specific build. Uh,. But, like, with the, uh, I mean, you saw it earlier, the chest where you can actually, well, kiosks where you can choose multiple things. Yeah. Uh, so only one of, of us determine. can pick from there? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so we all are, right, right. I'm not going to say we're competing for item drops, but. We'll probably also, like, you know, not be able to buy it all, right? So gold uh, will kind of help us. how long we stick it. on a level. So oh, okay. at this point, I'd actually say we are taking too long and should go hit hit the uh, the portal. Don't I know it? <laughs> okay, All right, so go. I'll, I'll go grab that real quick. Okay. Oop. Let's see. How many? And eventually, how many you start levels finding are items there? that are. Ooh, crowdfunder! Damn it! Oh. It's. Uh, it's not great. Does uh, it take money to do something? I, I yeah. Know there's a, uh, I, yeah, so what you, I'm going to know about these items are largely going to be from there is a mod item collection for Enter the Gungeon that takes all the Risk of Rain items and puts them in the game. So that's how I'm going to know this stuff. <laughs> oh, wandering Vagrant. Okay. Okay, so Wandering Vagrant does a couple of abilities. Uh, when it starts glowing, you want to hide. Okay. Just behind any anything I can hide behind. Yeah, just as long as you break line of sight, uh, and it'll be like a pretty bright glow. Okay, I'm just getting completely grabbed by 200 boys over here. One second. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah. Okay. Okay, wasn't right. so bad, but yeah, uh, it does like an I AOE Nova. I think that. I just think I remember everything. it killing me in the past. Yeah, it's it's deadly. I think on, uh, especially on harder difficulties, it gets yeah. real bad. Or if you're real squishy. Oh, these are kind of bad. Should, eh. Maybe. Is there... Are there headshots? No. Okay. I don't good. I don't think so. <laughs> the heads are so small on some of these things. Thank God. I don't, I don't think you can shoot for any kind of weak points. Okay. I'm fine with that. It works in some games. In this yeah. game, it's kind of more... It's too messy. Yeah, it's it seems more systems-driven than a, a normal, you know, first-person shooter, third-person shooter. <laughs> it's not synthetic. It's not synthetic. <laughs> where, like, my hands would be burning from how many times I've fired my gun. And then I'd get a, I'd get a call from the loved ones of all the people we killed. It's not that realistic. <laughs> all right. Hitting the teleporter. Got my boys. Alright. This game's easy. 
Yeah. Except we probably took Currently. too long, but still, it's too easy. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> we get we get faster. The the trick with timing is you have to figure out kind of the halfway point, uh, where you've got like half the chest left to grab. Because if you notice, money does not carry over between. Yes, uh, I just was about to ask. Yep. Wow. Okay. That's very important to know, huh? Yep. Okay. So uh, the reason. The reason why, I mean, mainly for balance, so you don't just speed run everything. Uh, let's see. But all unused money gets turned into EXP at the end of every every level, so it's not like okay. it's that bad. Nice. Yeah. But you generally want to, like, hit the teleporter before you've bought every chest. Uh, fight the wave, then you go buy as many things as possible. You don't want to, like, go too fast, because then you don't get enough. But you don't want to go too slow, because then you have, like, a bunch of money and... No items to buy. Sure. What's what's the difference between the color of the little things on the ground? Between the blue and the orange? Uh, is there a difference or is it just... So I saw there was blue. an orange one over there. I didn't know what's what's better, oh. blue or orange. Uh, so the blue chests have just kind of regular item drops. Chances are you will get uh, one of the many passives. The little orange one here has an active yeah. item in it. Ah, okay, okay. Mm. Eh. Not, not yet. Not yet. I'm not big brain enough to use an active yet. I need to figure out how to <laughs> how to shoot good. I need to help man who shoot good shoot good first. Ooh. Just want a lot of that's passives. It. Just make the number bigger for yep. now. I that's one thing I always liked about uh, Risk of Rain is that it's all mostly just passives. The actives you don't need to do not like make or break most of the time. Yeah, okay. So you can just kind of pick up everything, and then you're good. You're done. And you can only have one, or one active? Yeah. Uh, yeah. There are. There is an item that lets you have two, I think. Okay. But it's not normal. Okay. No. Oh boy. Also, a, a very... no, Not relevant at all. What happens if I die? Uh, so <laughs> if you it, die, you're just you knocked out until... Uh, I can't revive you, but I have to beat the boss. Okay. And get to the next level. Fresh meat. Ah, huh. that's a new one. It's a new, is an item? Yeah, so new item I haven't seen before, regenerate HP after killing an enemy, which, I mean, kind of no-brainer, but that's pretty cool. I'm into it. Now, I've always felt like Risk of Rain 2 had kind of a dearth of healing items. That's part of the reason why I'm playing Rex, because he's got, like, a very distinct... Who's Rex? Petunia? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, he's got a very, uh, heavy... Woo! Wow! I'm here! Uh, Rex has a lot more healing than most of the other characters. Not the most mobile, but can heal self. Can heal self. Okay. I got a mask that makes me sometimes make ghosts when Ooh. I kill enemies. Happiest mask? That's good. Yeah. Oh, Beetle Queen. Yep. Uh, oh, Queen I found is probably the easiest boss. Oh man! Don't say that yet. Say that after we win. <laughs> it's the number one rule. Say it after we win. Otherwise, I'm gonna. Oh I'm no, gonna we're die. gonna lose a lot. I. Okay. Okay. Good. Oh my God, these guys are really not letting me breathe. And a lot of enemies. Oh, I did get the ukulele. I wasn't paying any attention. Okay. I can't believe I made it out of that. Ghost! Oh, it's a ghost of the guy I killed. That's really yep. cool. And so That's he'll so just cool. sit around and fight. In the first game, at, at the very least, I think it was like every enemy you killed or something goofy. It got really ridiculous really fast. Mm. Is, uh, okay. is the Beetle Queen? Oh, there she is. Let's say the hell is she? Yep, she's over here. She's not that hard. Okay. I think you want, mostly want to just stay away from her front, but I kind of forget. Ooh. Don't need to tell man who shoot good to not get close. I shoot too good. Yeah, because she does. Close. She does an acid volley. Oh. Yeah, there is. Oh. Is there a melee character? Uh, That's there me. are three. There's wow. Acrid. Okay. Uh, there's Acrid. There's the Loader. 
And there's... Uh, let's see. Acker, the loader, and the mercenary. Wow. Let's see. So we don't actually want to get out of here. Ooh. You like this one? Okay. Beetle guard. Yep. Nice. So more now friends. just buy everything on the map. The more expensive stuff, uh, the more expensive chests have a higher chance of having, I think, a guaranteed chance of having, like, one of the green items spawn. Hey. Oh. They changed how razor wire works. It's now retaliation damage instead of just an AoE that just kills things. I like that change, actually. Am I stealing the majority of the items? Oh boy, I am. <laughs> what is this? Th the 3D printer. What? What's happening? Okay, 3D put printer in... lets you trade items of the same level. Uh, so if oh, you, okay. say, really want to get a whole bunch of... Uh, like one if you want to get a whole thing. bunch of one item, you can go up to it and trade uh, whatever items that you currently have. Okay. And is the the thing that it shows floating by it, the, yeah, like what it gives you or what it takes? Uh, that's what it gives you. Oh, okay. 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 Scrap okay. Crap items. I am finding it. no chests. I have a feel <laughs> feeling a certain certain Durbo has gone to them all. <laughs> <laughs> I I did not realize that I was taking uh so many. There's one expensive chest over here. And a choice chest as well. Okay, okay. So, one here. Move fast out of combat. Oh, dream yep. item. That's Irrelevant in combat, I don't care. I just right. love to move fast. Uh, glasses here give you crit chance. The turtle gives you a shield. And the other one gives you a shield. The turtle is slightly better, but I'd recommend the glasses. Yeah, big number. Big Sounds number? good. Big number. All right. Whoa. Yep, I f I'm, I'm loving how fast I'm moving. Oh, that's yep. nice. And I imagine those stack, too. <laughs> oh, yes, no. uh, so there there is a certain point where you actually will not want to grab those because you start moving yeah. too fast. Uh, that's what I was going to say. But you're usually grossly overpowered by that point in the game, so it doesn't matter too much. Uh, chest up here. Four more divas are marked for death. Oh, that's a new one. By the way, if you want to look at any of these at any point and see what they do, uh, just press tab. Oh, hey, look at that. Hmm. Let's see. What white items do you have? Eh, no, you got good stuff. Yeah, the double bullets make it so you do more damage to bosses, which is pretty good. Let's see, how much money nice. do you have left? You got 400. I got 473. Chance to bleed on hit, too. Mm. Yep. I think that might be everything. I could be wrong. Yeah. Okay, this ended going. up a little bit more balanced. I still have a lot more than you do, though. I don't... It's okay. I'm fine. I'm just trying to stay alive and shoot. That's my goal for this first run. Stay alive and shoot as best as I can. But if I'm doing a lot of damage, cool. I just want to feel like I'm aiming right. Yep. That's step one. Oh, that's the other reason why the Huntress is good. Uh, Huntress is auto-aim. Oh. Let's see. So, I will admit, usually when I play this, my strat is kind of to run around somewhat. Uh fighting things, but mostly just focusing on finding chests and killing everything in the way, instead of, like, staying in one area and fighting for a while. Yeah. I mean, it seems like that might be, like, the idea. It's yeah. Sort of what it feels like. Which is definitely definitely something to get used to, like, always being on the run, like, away from enemies. Well, it's like a kiting game. Yep. It's interesting. It's kind of neat. Especially... Because if we don't have, if you don't have infusions, your HP usually kind of scales poorly. 
and enemies eventually get to the point where they they can one shot you if they're close to you too uh, for too long. Oh boy. It's a friendly fire. I did not ask that. That's a it's not a common... normally. Uh, so there there okay. is there is a f friendly fire mode, and I will want to try it at some point. Uh, so there are. There are things called uh, artifacts in this game that change kind of how the game is experienced. Uh, so, oh, okay. like, one is command mode that makes it so uh, you get to choose all of your items, which is probably my favorite. Wow, so every time yeah. you go up to a chest, instead of instead of it just being a random item, you can say, like, I want more tri-tip daggers. And it just gives that you one. That is very fun. It is very, is fun. very fun. It can get idea. very broken very fast. Oh, I imagine. Uh, it's fun as an option, though. Most games yep. are just like... No! My integrity! I can't give you a mode like that. Yep. That's, uh, that's, that's great. I wish more roguelikes would do that. Yeah. But uh, the only reason why I don't want to mess with them is, you know, they'll they'll change how this game plays. Uh, but there is specifically an artifact that gives everything friendly fire. You, oh, me, boy. our enemies. <laughs> our pets, probably, too. Probably, yeah. Oh boy. And I'm a little curious about it, if it would be worth it because I want to see uh I want to see the enemies just destroy themselves. Yeah. The bosses just completely get beat up by a bunch of their babies. Yeah, exactly. Rebelling against mom. I don't want to clean the dishes and then they just take them down. Let's see. I'm doing it. I'm, I'm taking one. I'm yeah, taking go one. For it. Obtain Renis resonance disc charge that fires. Wait, what? Wow. Went away, uh, went away too quick. Uh, charge by charge killing by enemies, enemies fires, fires, when fires automatically when fully charged. That sounds cool. Is it new? Yeah, I've never seen that one before. Whoa. You're getting all the red items. Yeah, the game feels sorry for me. They say you're not, you're not getting anything where at least gonna make the stuff you get good. Yeah, it works. It's a, it's one way to balance it out. It probably isn't actually doing that, but. Where are you? I keep going scrap armor. Oh. There we go. That actually works better than I thought it would. Let's see. I'm probably going to go activate the teleporter. Do it. Let's fight at this point. At this point, we've been here for a little while. Yeah. Yeah, I, I feel like I'm not doing very much damage. Unless these guys are supposed to take a while to kill. I feel like I'm kind of weak. Yeah. Uh... I think a lot of your damage is wrapped up in kind of occasional things, like the mask. When when you when you ah, sorry brain, when you kill things, you get the the mask ghosts, which help, and you also have that disc. Okay, mm -hmm. Clay Dune Strider is pretty basic. Uh, just fire stuff at you. Just keep moving. There's two of them. That's less fun. Uh, but okay. when they get hurt after a certain point, they'll uh. They'll kind of go back into their pot and uh, start sucking you in. Okay. I'm probably going to die. There's a lot of enemies. Yeah, just run away. Just leave. Oh, no. Focus nope. Focus on other things than the boss. Oh. Nope. I'm too bad at the video game to do that right now. It's fine. They're just running. Like, I was trying to do the boss a little bit. I just don't know the. Uh, I don't know if you're supposed to focus down the boss or focus down the ads. Uh, oh, no. So I was do either. As soon as you summon the boss, I had like ten boys on my back still. Yep. I didn't know what to do. Uh, so focus firing the boss is probably what you want to do, just because once he's dead, they don't come back. Same thing with the mm -hmm. enemies, in fact. Uh, so the uh, as the timer is going, eventually once that timer runs out, it actually won't spawn any anything else. We won't spawn any new enemies, too? Yeah. Yeah, so okay. that's why we had a quiet moment afterwards. Yeah. Oh, that's a new one. 
Mired urn. Siphon health from nearby characters while in combat. Uh, Ooh. that's nearby new. Characters? Yeah, so yellow items are the one classification that only drops from bosses. And they're kind of nice. It looks like I'm I'm actually pulling off of my, uh, my beetle guard as well. Ooh. I wonder if you pull off of me. <laughs> I... I'm That's a, a little concerning. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I'm, I'm. It's probably the most value I could provide to the run today is just to be a juice box for you. <laughs> <laughs> I. That's. That's a bad. Uh, let's see. By the way, if you want a character that is objectively, I'm gonna say, not easier, uh, but t generally, generally easier. The engineer is pretty good. Okay. I'll take a look at them after this one. Because with the Engineer, you almost can just dump your turrets and then not do anything and just run around. Mm. I, I have three characters unlocked. I don't know if I... How do you unlock okay. the characters? Uh, I It varies Various per character. Things. Yeah, so okay. this character, for example, all you have to do is find his escape pod in the next level. Because uh, he crashed in the wrong spot. Uh, Acrid, you have to go into this like weird nether void that I've forgotten how to access. Okay. Um, All kinds trying, of things. Trying to think. It it varies. It will actually tell you if you look at the character. Uh, it yeah. will tell you how you can get them in kind of vague terms. <laughs> look at all the right. items. Look at all them items. It seems like... Do, do I not get the experience for going to the next level now since I'm dead? Uh, I like, think you'll still get the EXP for how much money you have. Okay. Yeah, so you're not you're not totally screwed, okay. but it is a Just it is a screen. penalty. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I wish. Well, I guess actually, there's a very easy way for me to balance this, uh, which is I'm just gonna start popping open chests in the next zone, and uh, just letting you pick up the items off of them. I'll I'll, I'll do it. I'll be worried that I'll just throw them in right in the gutter. I think maybe some survivability things is what I just need. I don't think I have any of that, really. Ooh, 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 yeah, it's worth it. Spawn an ammo pack. What is an ammo pack for? Don't you have infinite ammo? Uh, so ammo packs drop uh, from killing enemies and they will reduce the cooldown on your abilities. So oh, okay. some characters have like a longer cooldown, 15 seconds or whatever. And so by picking up those ammo packs, uh, you get them up gotcha. sooner. Gotcha. Man, this is... <laughs> I've, ne I've never felt so inept at a... At a oh, boy. Oh, what? Yeah, Magma okay. Worm, just right off the bat. That's not a boss. It's just a guy who exists. Well, that is a boss. He just spawned for some reason. Okay. Wow. Boy, I hope I don't, I just don't, don't want to die immediately, that's all. I just run and avoid everything is on fire. Yeah. Well, I got a ghost lizard, so all is well. Oh all right. God, that, that ghost well, that was a surprise. That one. Big chest for yeah. you. Uh, let's see. Actually, I'm going to snag this one in this case. Okay. It's, it's the red whip. You already have one of those. Okay. Stacking them is nice, but it's not going to make or break. Sure. I don't know what I'm doing. I'll just do whatever you say. Oh. I think you can totally steal my life. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's, that's what just happened. That's hilarious. I guess stay away from me. Stay away. Yes. I will do that. <laughs> do my best. Why is it? Like, the core theme of every game we end up playing is friendly, friendly fire. Friendly fire. It's the core unanimous always there right. thing. Item on the ground, you can have it. Alright. Ooh. Ooh rapidly you. heal outside of danger. That sounds perfect for me. Yep. Right about now. I can Let's see. Shrine of the Woods? Is that like, I if think I remember it, correctly, isn't that something about changing the boss at the end or something? No, I think Shrine of the Woods makes you heal. Oh, oh, the shrines do different. Th okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, Shrine of the Mountain is the one that, uh, Changes the boss around. Ukulele up here. Uh, let's see. Yep. Ooh. That gives you a occasional chain lightning attack. Okay. 
Oh, game, when I know what half of you do, you're toast. Right now, I'm like, see health bar, shoot health bar. That's where it I'm works. At. It works. Kind of. Oh. I do feel like I'm just tickling him. So how many uh, how many more levels are there in a normal so normal I've, run? Uh, they've changed it. I forgot they added this level. Uh, let's see, what are you? Ooh, uh, scythe. Yes, there's a scythe here, all the way up here for you. So the scythe gives you uh Ow. <laughs> gives you a life steal based on crits. Did you fall? Oh, no, I'm no. dead. Oh, oh no. Well, yep. I will be uh, right after you. No, I didn't fall. You stole my health, <laughs> and I guess I should have stayed by you a little bit longer. It's okay. Give you now more. I get to judge you. Oh, boy. I promise you will not be the only one. <laughs> I'm going to die right here. Uh, let's see. The other thing I can do, by the way, if you do want to have just access to everything, I can give you my save file. I don't know how much you care. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I'm like... Uh, I care sometimes. Can you Can you have multiple save files? Uh, yes. You can have multiple then, profiles. Then, yeah. Maybe I, if I cared, I would save for, like, uh, I would have a fresh one for single player. That's a probably. Oh, boy. You really messed up, says the chat. <laughs> <laughs> you really messed up. Darn, it is, it is very true. We did decently well, though, all things considered. Yeah. And with that, that's actually a pretty good stopping point, at least for now. So we are going to do a couple more runs together. Uh, some of them are definitely going to be split into multiple parts because these runs get long. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoy this as much as I did. So the 1.0 is available now on PC only and will be on consoles in a couple of months. I'm not entirely sure what their schedule is going to be, but I'm sure they're just trying to smooth out all of the bugs and make sure everything is actually as perfect as they say it, say it is in the patch notes. But I, I don't know. I'm having a lot of fun. I can't wait to unlock the captain, and I can't wait to show you guys the last boss and how utterly and brutally it destroyed us. <laughs> so I guess with that, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.